Hey, so welcome to this session. I have Brinalika with me. Uh, pretty interesting profile. She has done, I think, political science. Uske baad, she had a small venture in Kathak training, I think. She decided to do an MBA. So she has done her MBA from Vedika. And now she is working with Airtel Payment Banks, if I'm not wrong. At, yeah. It's a B2B sort of a profile, but unka jo clientele hai, maximum wo BFSI. Hai. So, uh, you know, Brinalika, we have a lot of dots to connect, by the way. So, yeah. Welcome on board and thank you so much for uh, you know joining me today. I would love to hear your entire profile and how this entire transition happened, you know, from political science, se leke MBA, MBA, se leke Airtel. Can you give us a little brief about it? Sure. So I think, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, I'll just do a very strong, uh, small introduction and then maybe we can move on to how this sure. entire management sure. and Airtel. So uh, my name is Nanalika, as Ketan already introduced me, and I'm a very, very proud alum of the Vedika Scholars Program. I am currently associated with Airtel Payments Bank as their key account manager for their B2B partnerships. And uh, yes, I do handle a clientele specifically in the BFSI vertical, uh, focusing on agri-techs, insurance, uh, fintechs, PSPs, and other partners. Uh, prior to this, prior to actually Vedika happening, I had my bachelor's degree. I did my bachelor's degree from uh, uh, IP college in uh, North Campus Delhi University in political science. Okay. Uh, I think third year me RK, I decided that you know I want to take a gap and I actually want to pursue my passion of dancing. I am a professional Kathak dancer, nice. so I just decided that I'll take one year off teach dancing and then you know think about what the next step should be or maybe just continue that whole thing mm. and uh, so yeah i did that for one whole year mm. and that's when i had the realization that no it's absolutely essential for me to have a management degree uh, in order to also uh, reach where my vision is mm. uh, what i want to become so that's when i joined vedika and yeah now i'm here perfect yeah perfect so, so, so you, you thought of, you know, uh, ke, I want to kind of continue with the entrepreneurship kind of thing. And that's, that's where you thought ke, yeah. I, I should get into management domain. Absolutely. Okay. That's a wise choice because there are a lot of people they do MBA because everybody's doing sort of a rat race, but then you yeah. understood the need to do an MBA and Merikal say, when you have that kind of a need now, your uh, purpose is very clear. I, I know, but I can't uh, fully take the credit of it. I will. 50% oh. one of those people and ah. 50% totally I think everyone who's in their early 20s is thinking about a lot of things right. they're part of a herd also but they're also right. trying to find their individual True. self so the same thing happened to me actually I can you know run you through this entire thing as a story if you want mm -hmm. um, so not a, a lot of people know this but political science and management logo ko bahut drastic lagta hai Haan. but I, I was actually a science student in school i had okay. pcm with psychology oh. um, yeah and by the time i graduated school i knew that i i didn't actually know what i had to do hmm. i just had an idea of what i don't want to do and Great. anything technical is definitely something that i ruled out perfect i went to father my father for his opinion and he told me that you know <clears throat> it's important for every individual Hmm. to have a strong base of liberal arts education because that's hmm. uh, how you build in your uh, strong communication and you learn to nurture your personal freedom by inspiring and challenging various intellectual thoughts around you so that was the kind of idea that really fascinated me and i decided that okay political science is definitely something i want to study maybe not as a career later not pursue it as a career later but definitely something that i want to study I think earlier into college, I decided that, okay, my dance school is definitely happening. A lot of people around me were really nervous and especially coming from a middle class family, uh, most people in their final year are thinking about how to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. so that was the exact thought process that I had as well. Uh, I wasn't thinking about jobs. I was just thinking about what means should I take to eventually become financially independent. And I realized that in the process, I still want to earn something and be self-sufficient. So mm. that's when I started my dance school on a very small scale. Mm. But while I was doing that, I think six to eight months into it, I realized that I was facing a lot of challenges in mm. terms of how to really manage my own venture. Mm. So just to give you a few examples, I 
uh, I used to do it in a very small rented place. So I didn't really know exactly how to scale it up. Mm -hmm. What are the kind of, how to manage my finances in order to support that scaling up. How to get the right network of people to provide these kids the opportunity to go and perform somewhere, the mm -hmm. exposure. And also lastly, I think the personal finance part mm -hmm. that I'm just collecting all this money, saving it up, but considering the inflation, it's not giving me anything. Absolutely. So how do I learn about these things? And I think that's when I eventually decided that, you know, management is definitely the way to go about it. Perfect. So I had a very clear thought process, but yeah, the idea of doing an MBA and becoming financially in independent is uh, something that, you know, a lot of people think about. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you know what, this this actually, um, I, I'm, I'm interested to ask you this question. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you made a mention about this 20s, you know, uh, uh, you know, the population that we have or students or janta that we have. Yeah. And uh, definitely, you know, they, they believe that, you know, I have to do this, I have to do a lot of stuff. You have Absolutely. gone through that process already. And it's like not, I think a couple of years back, those three years ago, you will be with me, I think. Better. So what is that one piece of advice you would love to give it to these kids as a mentor, as a sister, whatever, so that, you know, their life is a sorted. Because they're like everywhere, you know, you have to do this, you have to do this, and financial independence we need at the age hmm. of 20. Because I speak to a lot of students and they say that I have to pay my fees for 20 lakh. And I was like, I have a good ambition, but this is not possible now. So okay. what's your take on this? What do you want to give advice to the kids? I think first and foremost advice which I wish someone would have told me is that thumb job. Huh. It's okay to take that time. Right. And having those doubts is completely normal. It's mm. completely okay. Yes. Because being able to solve those doubts is what makes you extremely confident about the decisions that you're taking. Mm. So uh, I think just take the time off and honestly, uh, I've been through that rat race of uh, you know, giving all these entrance examinations and being judged on my scores, mm. I would suggest that go for something that really uh, clicks with you, not just because of its brand or label, right. but specifically for whether it convinces you mm. of your vision of who you want to be and would the this path that you would be mm. taking mm. lead to you eventually becoming the best version of yourself. Right. You know, so just that advice is something that you need to remember in terms of you know having to earn money mm. package you completely forget that what is it in life that will make you happy what kind of job will make you happy what kind of route will make you happy i think instead focus on that more than the labels and the brands mm. is the advice that i want to give people 